Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about finding the derivative of a function using the product rule. So the product rule says if I have a function f of x that's written as a product of two functions, so g of x times h of x, then the derivative of that function f is going to be equal to g of x times h prime of x plus h of x times g prime of x. This is kind of weird to have to remember, so I usually try and remember it in words. I can look at this first function g of x as the first function, and then I'll look at h of x as the second function. So in words, the derivative of f is going to be the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. The product rule is going to be most helpful in functions that have e to the x and or some kind of trig function, but it's also helpful when you're multiplying say, two polynomials that each have a lot of terms in them. We're going to start with looking at some examples where I'm multiplying polynomials because those are a little bit easier. And then we'll look at two quick examples with an e to the x in there and one that has a trig function. Number one, for this derivative here, I could definitely just multiply this 3x inside the parentheses and I would end up with 3x cubed plus 12x, and then I could just use a power rule. So if I use the power rule here, I have 9x squared plus 12. This is definitely the faster method of finding the derivative for this function, but let's just take a look at using the product rule here since this is going to be nice and easy. The 3x is the first thing that appears, so I'm going to call this my first, and then the x squared plus 4 is the second. That's what I'm multiplying. So when I use the product rule here to find y prime, the product rule says first... 3x times the derivative of the second. The derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative of 4 is 0, so that would be a plus 0. Plus the second, x squared plus 4, times the derivative of the first. The derivative of 3x is 3. If I multiply this out, I end up with 6x squared plus 3x squared plus 12, which gives me the same answer as before, the 9x squared plus 12. So again, in an example like this, I wouldn't necessarily use the products rule. I would go this method because it's definitely a little bit quicker. But let's look at another example where I'm multiplying two polynomials. And I'm going to want to use the products rule because it will make my life easier. Number two, I could multiply these two things out first and then just use the power rule. But multiplying a trinomial times a binomial can be kind of lengthy. So instead, I'm going to apply the product rule. The first thing that I'm multiplying is this x squared plus 3x cubed minus 2x. And then the second is the 5x plus 1. So when I find my derivative here, again, the product rule says first derivative of the second plus second derivative of the first. So I copy the first. I take the derivative of the second. The derivative of 5x is 5. The derivative of 1 is 0. Plus the second, 5x plus 1 times the derivative of the first. So the derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of 3x cubed is 9x squared. And then the derivative of negative 2x is just negative 2. There's my answer. I'm going to leave it like this. The point of the product rule is that you get the derivative faster and that you avoid multiplying this stuff out. So I'm just going to leave my answer like this. Again, you could multiply stuff out and combine your like terms. But for the purposes of just using the product rule, we're good to go here. Number three, y equals x cubed e to the x. I don't have any sign between the x cubed and the e to the x. And what I mean by that is there's no plus sign and there's no minus sign. If there was a plus or a minus sign between these two terms, I could just take the derivative of them individually. But since there's no sign there, that's implied multiplication. This reads x cubed times e to the x. If you read a function out loud to yourself in your head and you say times, that means you're going to have to use the product rule no matter what. So since this is x cubed times e to the x, the x cubed is the first times e to the x, the e to the x is the second. So when I find this derivative, I'm going to do first x cubed times the derivative of the second. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x plus second e to the x times the derivative of the first. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. You can rewrite that second term and put the 3x squared in front. It just looks a little bit nicer, and this is the way that you usually see it. Number four, y equals rad x sine x. Again, I don't see a plus or minus sign between the rad x and the sine x. 
which means that's implied multiplication. So this reads rad x times sine x. Since I say times, that means I have to use the product rule. My first is going to be rad x, and the second is going to be sine x. When I take the derivative of rad x, I'm going to need to use the power rule. So I'm actually first going to rewrite y so that this rad x has a fractional exponent. So I'm going to write this as x to the 1 half times sine of x. So now the x to the half is the first, sine x is my second. When I find the derivative here, y prime, the product rule says first x to the half times the derivative of the second. The derivative of sine x is cosine x plus the second sine x times the derivative of the first. When I take the derivative of this, I'm using the power rule. The half comes to the front, x to the negative one half. That first term, I can rewrite this as rad x cos x. And then the second term, there's going to be a sine x in the numerator. This two is in the denominator, right, because that was a half. And then the x to the negative half, I'm going to make a positive exponent by putting that variable in the denominator. So that would be an x to the half or rad x. That's it for finding derivatives using the product rule. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Have a great day.